you feel? Do you feel the look in this scenario much old world and the new world go to war? The old world starts its first offensive into the new world. Let's go through it. As they take out Oceania, but this is also, keep in mind, we got almost all the strongest nations in the world on the blue team, red team. Before American aid can get to Australia, Australia collapses along with New Zealand. But America and its New World allies, hard to say because there's Venezuela and Cuba, but the rest are good with America. As they land in South Africa with four or five million troops, with population advantages definitely not in their favor. As for every New World soldier, there's seven, seven other soldiers, maybe. But anyways, as they start advancing north, and they make a detour. Do, do, do. <laughs> yep, I think they're oil hungry. As they fight with dare everything to hold the Middle East. And their favorite spots are probably Kuzhistan, which they refuse to retreat in. As they make orders saying, no one shall retreat from Kuzhistan, Iran's biggest oil producing area. Yep, this is definitely an America joke at this point. With Chinese and Indian troops moving into Africa, with about 12 million of them, yeah, this is not good. With the European soldiers appearing, and well, as you can tell, this is not going well. Not saying they can beat the fortress. With them being forced to with withdraw from South Africa. With a landing happening here and seeing the Strait of Hormuz might be taken over, the Americans finally decide to leave. Which, the New World takes the advantage of a weak Canadian military, weak Greenlandish and Icelandish no military. And they manage to take over Greenland. Greenland collapses after it, but not a big deal. As they start moving into northern Canada, they take over the Northwest Passage because global warming melted it. And they take over Newfoundland. What's the point anymore? Well, they're managing to advance here and they completely wipe out Alaska. Now, knowing that they're going for weak nations, they land in there because they saw America's plan had a lot of success because of weak nations. Which leads to the complete capture of the North of South America. With America unable to push back because the landing in Florida just took place. Yachtin, Baja California, Nova Scotia, British Columbia, Washington, Oregon... New York takes Washington even, but it stalemates out. Cause I forgot to say one thing. The Americans have more guns than everyone else. That's not a joke, literally. With the Americans just saying, oh, free target range. Yep, I think this is going well at this point. As they push them out of Canada, out of North America. With them being very mad that America used its billions of guns because it has enough guns for the entire population of India and China. Just like not even having a close number to that. But China and Russia and India seeing this, they say, Ever I grab a gun. Yep. And if you don't have a gun, once the person in front of you falls, take their spot. With them thinking, oh, America's going down. But America, with all of its nukes. Oh, I might have destroyed the world. They hit London, Paris, Bordeaux, Naples, Rome, Berlin, Munich, Warsaw, Kiev, Budapest, Baghdad, Tehran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on, so on. Istanbul, Beijing. Yeah, this is where there's cities in China. Seoul, Pyongyang, 
what's the city there? I forget. Nagasaki. <laughs> yeah, they rebombed Nagasaki. Who knew? Tokyo. Karachi. Kabul. Astana. Cairo. Tripoli. Yeah, as you can see, uh, the world. Oh. The Balkan Peninsula. Greece. South Africa. Israel. Oh. I guess that solved the Israel Palestine crisis. And I probably just offended everyone, so I probably shouldn't have said that statement. But, anyways, that's just Wild Mapper. Yeah. And with the radiation cloud that formed after this. But don't worry, guys. Not that bad. It wasn't that bad, guys. Now was it? With them getting super strong. Do 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 and this is how the world ends. So now everybody that's left is a Russian. I guess this is Russia's end plan. Well, yeah. As the radiation spreads, Russia has become the strongest nation in the world. With all the ocean becoming radioactive. And yeah, this is a radioactive world. And thank you for watching today's video where we saw the world disappear. Well, almost disappear. Apparently, there's no radiation over here anymore. No, this isn't the right map. Now, the Russian having been east of the Urals at this point, Russia survived. Although, as much as that, if that's good. And that's all for today's video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Wild Mapper out, but not until you subscribe. Bye, guys.